guys, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I'm packing and getting ready for the London trip. Now, if you're new here, I was studying in London. I did my master's from King's College London and I'm going back to London tomorrow for my convocation. When you start any kind of academic journey, I think one goal that everybody has is like, you know, you picture yourself in the robe and you picture yourself walking on the stage. So that day is finally approaching. Um, so I'll tell you more about the trip in a while. But just to give you a little summary, we're going to Edinburgh and then we're going to London. I will be going with my grandparents. So it's going to be a very fun, eventful trip. And just a lot of emotions going on inside because I obviously miss mom a lot because earlier the four of us would always take trips together. But this time it's going to be the three of us, which is fine because I know that mom's going to always be with me. Right now I'm going to go to the parlor. I got my hair oil in the morning and uh, I will get it washed, get a blow dry done. I also got these lash extensions that are kind of coming off now isme hai, isme nahi hai. so i'm gonna get those removed and i'm planning on getting like nails done <sighs> fun day ahead also i haven't started packing at all so it's gonna be exciting to see how much time all of that is gonna take i ordered some clothes from urbanic and those have not turned up yet so i put a request on their app and said that i want to self-collect it because i know it's somewhere near my house where the like local point is so I'm going to go there and collect it. If I don't collect it myself, I don't know when it will come. It will come or not. And I don't have any options. So I really have to go and get that package no matter what today. My skin has not been feeling the best lately. I'm having some kind of like allergic reaction to some food that I've had. I don't know what it is, but we'll deal with it later. <laughs> All right, so blow dry is done, uh, lashes are off, uh, nails are also done, so super, super happy about all of that. So my grooming sesh is on point. Now I will be starting my packing. It's a 10 day trip, right? Uh, but even in 10 days, like right now and mentally, up until now, I was like, I'm carrying two bags, but now I'm like, okay, no, let's just do one bag. Like a normal sane person, let's like pack normally and not overdo it. So clothes also, I'm going to go try the clothes, pack the clothes. Then we're going to move on to makeup. I also want to show you guys my makeup look for the airport. I am in full vacay mode, so <laughs> super excited. So the first thing I usually do when I'm traveling is create like a mood board of the outfits that I want to carry. So that's how I pre-plan my outfits and then I pack accordingly. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So before I ordered the clothes, I had a good look at this. I always do this. I always mood boards. Bana leti hun, so that whenever you are actually like prepping for your trip, planning for your trip, you know exactly what kind of clothes you have to carry. So one year of living in London, I'm still scrolling through this. That's a shame. But <laughs> um, at least I know what to wear and kind of like how to manage my way through. London, ki jaga, you can also type like Europe and you've got like a lot of pictures that you can kind of take inspiration from. So always, always comes in handy. And you also know then later that if you photos, what kind of photos would look good. Although most of these are already done when I was staying there. So kudos on that. But yeah, just always helps. Creating mood boards is like always, always, always super important. Yes, I got all of these clothes. Now that this is done, I'm like a little relieved. I was just trying on all of these clothes and this is so comfy, guys. It is super, super comfy. I always make like a trip planning essentials document and this is like a standard document that I have so I know that these things are kept, it's like a checklist if you guys want I'll leave it down in the description box but like it's just a very basic checklist with all the things that you could possibly think of but this is like a must have so I'm gonna make sure that I start off with all of this I'm actually starting off with my makeup kit and then we're gonna move on to clothes Alright guys, I'll be showing you my very quick and super easy makeup look. So this is perfect for like airport makeup or everyday makeup. And then we're going to get started with the actual packing of all of that makeup. I personally feel like if you look your best, you feel your best. So it has to start way before the actual vacation actually starts. So I'm just going to get my hair out of the way. And I'll just be using four products to perfect my base makeup. So it's as quick and as easy as prep, cover, blend, set and lock. Alright, so starting off with primer. The primer I'm using today is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth. But they also have a matte plus poreless one. We'll be using this one today. Just on the T-zone. That's the main part. Now this extends makeup wear and is formulated with vitamin E. So it hydrates and gives a really dewy finish for up to 12 hours. And this is absolutely perfect for dry to combination skin. Next up, I'll be using the Fit Me Foundation. Now my shade is 115. And to be honest, I've spoken about this foundation like years and years ago when I started doing makeup and even to date like I still am totally obsessed with this foundation and this was one of the first foundations to come out with 18 shades to suit all the diverse Indian skin tones that we have 
Now, if you're not sure what your shade is, you can use the virtual try-on tool that's on their website to find it. This contains SPF 22 and it gives up to 16 hours of oil control and that is something we need for long journeys and it has a matte finish. It also has a very natural coverage, you guys know I love that. It's non-comedogenic and it has a lightweight formula. Basically everything I look for in a foundation. Next up, I'll be using the Fit Me Concealer. Now my shade is 15 Fair. This also has a very lightweight, very oil-free formula. So. If you're doing an everyday natural look, you don't need that much, just a little bit is enough. So you see blemishes, redness, dark circles, everything has just disappeared. Next up is the Fit Me Pressed Powder and my shade in this is 120 Classic Ivory. Now this is something that I keep in my bag at all times. It's super compact and just gives like a really nice touch up as well when you're on the go. I also really love the packaging. It's now this has perlite mineral technology that absorbs oil to mattify skin so it sets and mattifies your makeup. And again this is great for long journeys or for a long day. To add a flush of colour, I'll be using the Fit Me Blush in the shade Spot Tea Proud. It's super pigmented, look at this, and it blends super smoothly, it's not streaky or chalky. It says it lasts for 16 hours, which is what we want today, it's a long journey, so we want something that's long lasting. And they also have a lot of shades, so you can get the one that suits your skin tone the best. Now we're sealing the deal with the Fit Me setting spray. Now I was on the hunt for a good setting spray for the longest time and trust me guys, this is a literal game changer. It's made with witch hazel and gives a matte finish so we're locking it without clogging the pores. My skin does get oily especially in flights so we've got 24 hours of oil control right over here. We've sealed the deal and we're sorted. I will leave links to all of these products down in the description box so make sure you have a look. Now let's go back to packing, we've got a lot to do. all the jewelry in this so it's nice and compact guys a little bit stress it's starting now and how will all of this fit into this we're carrying one of this bag so this is the check-in bag and then this is the carry-on bag is the toiletries bag so this is the bag that I usually carry it's foldable and it looks really nice and it's like floral and pink and all of that all right there we go so that bag is all ready we'll just have a shampoo and conditioner so I'll be adding that because all of us had a lot of stuff and the suitcase was kind of weighing over 23 kgs and even if you're allowed 46 in total you can't exceed over 23 per bag so what we've decided is we're going to carry another suitcase because we were allowed like a total of six so two per person a lot of maths here but so we're carrying four suitcases now so everything should be fine on track there is nothing to worry about we'll check in all of them and get done with it the room right now is a mess so i do have to clean it up and have to keep my clothes out for tomorrow morning Alright guys, it's the next morning and I've packed my cabin bag, not cabin bag, well, handbag. Let's see what we've got in here. A diary, I've got my wallet, got my passport, charger. I also have a bottle that I absolutely love, it's from King's. Gloves, because the moment you enter the UK, it's super, super chilly. I've got a jacket in here just to layer up and I think that's about it. Here we've got some masks, my student ID, power bank, a rubber band that I always carry. This is like my good luck rubber band. I've got my watch in here, sanitizer, some adapters and like cables and all of that, my airpods. Yep, that's about it. That's packed. And then I've got my laptop and the charger that I have to put in here. So I'm just going to wrap everything up. Luggage is packed. We're going to push this out. Airport, OOTD, sneakers, sweatpants, fleece line, thermal, muffler, and my bag. We're now headed off to the airport. It's almost 8 and our flight is at 11. So we've got like a couple of... A couple of hours <laughs> wish me luck for the entire trip i'm super excited uh, and for the graduation ceremony we finally did it i think the next vlog you're gonna watch is gonna be the graduation ceremony but yeah i'm gonna see you guys really really soon till then bye, -bye.